All right, NT8 on the porch. I'm gonna show you this verb, elite. It's uh, a little bit bigger, a little bit about the same size as a Hero 3 Black. Not the plus, but the black. Um, it feels about the same weight, but then you have to add this crater. I really kind of like this. You just slide the back in, push these two buttons here on the sides, and it's locked in. And I've got the temperature sensor inside this bag, which is inside a plastic bag, Ziploc. So that'll keep that dry. A couple issues I'm having right now. First off, the videos you saw yesterday with the overlay, the G1 on top, that stands for G-Force. So if you're doing something where you're throwing a lot of G's, it'll show that. The next one's the altimeter, and then the next one is uh, the speed, or vice versa. According to the book, I have that temperature sensor uh, paired with it, with the camera. but I'm having trouble getting it onto the video. I don't know what the deal is. Second thing, I'm also supposed to be able to show overlays with the GPS track. Now, there's two ways you can do it. You can buy the Verb Basic. You can uh, use your GPS and somehow it you copy the files off the track of it. The verbal lead is supposed to automatically shift it over there into the camera and it does do that believe it or not it really does. I get the overlay up there in their verb edit software I can see it on the computer right next to the video but I can't get it onto the video. There's no tutorials on the Verb Edit software. I just, I don't quite know what to do here. I can view the GPS, GPX, and fit track logs on my computer using Basecamp application, which uh, Jose showed me something along those lines with his heart rate monitor for his bicycle. But I can't quite figure out how to get it to get this info onto the onto the track for the video. I do everything it says. It puts the little exclamation point on the video tracks, but then when I produce it, when I render it with the verb edit software, it disappears. Now it's supposed to take everything, all that info right off of here, transfer it into the verb edit. It does that. There's no help windows, there's no tutorials. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So I just deleted everything today. 
wipe the camera. I'm gonna load up here in about 20 minutes and go for another ride around my dirt alley and all that. So it'll be about a three minute video while I try and make this thing work. The other thing I'm supposed to be able to uh, hook this up to my cell phone also. They don't have the uh, they don't have the app in the uh, Play Store yet. So I don't know. I've searched on YouTube, but it's primarily the ones using uh, the original, the basic verb, and they're using a they're using a different GPS and they show how to do it but it doesn't correspond to the files that are coming off this so I'm not getting any help there um, it's really not a heavy camera the menu oh my god there's like 14 different menus on this and each and that's just topics you have to go into each one of those and then there's eight or nine more windows in each one of those and that includes the zoom okay I also said yesterday about the uh, lens uh, lens corrector what that is supposed to do is take the fisheye out and make it a flat screen which we've all experienced with YouTube with the uh, we detected your video is shaky do you want us to fix it try that once I dare you you'll be so disappointed in the way your video came out that you'll delete it um, the stabilizer only works if you have that lens correction deal turned on if you turn either one of them off it turns them both off so why have two two separate windows for that I don't I don't fully get that but other than that I really enjoy it because all you got to do is slide this lever up it's kind of like a contour now it has to shoot like this or it has to shoot like this you can't turn it 90 degrees and operate I mean you can probably flip it in your video 90 degrees but I'm sure that's going to give that narrow videos that nobody wants so all in all I'm pretty happy with the camera I just probably am going to have to wait on the support oh the other thing is the uh, GoPro mic dongle does not work in this I was counting on that to work so yesterday I ordered it and there was a one to two week uh, lead time on that getting here if you want to do the GPS tracks and you want to do the temperature sensor and all that other stuff down in the right hand corner you can't adjust the transparency of that and you also can't get that information out by pulling the card and putting it into your computer you have to you have to use the verb edit software and it has to come off the camera via the USB hub but it's, it's pretty it's pretty simple it, it goes right to it and it finds it and after you get that information you put it into a file you can tell it to uh, delete all those files off your camera so that makes it pretty user user friendly but other than that oh the other thing I don't like is it puts that little Garmin verb thing down in the bottom of my video I didn't ask for that I don't know what that deal is I don't know how to turn it off but whatever I can deal with it
But other than that, you guys uh, keep asking me questions, whatever you want to do in the uh, in the comments, and uh, I will do my best to answer them. Uh, right now, I'm really kind of fighting this, so not the camera. I'm fighting the software because it doesn't appear to be working the way it's designed to be working. So okay, NT8 on the porch. Looks like I'm gonna have to put the old dog down, the big one. She's not eating. Probably take her into the dock on Tuesday. Because tomorrow's a holiday, so. We'll catch you later.